Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial and a first impressions using the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. So if you'd like to learn how to create this look, then keep on watching. Alright, so we're going to pick up this palette now and first thing I notice is that I really do like this packaging. It comes with a mirror, which it still has the plastic cover on it. It's really beautiful. Now I've already swatched this palette and it looks beautiful so far on the swatches. So we're gonna get into it. Grabbing a blending brush, I'm gonna be picking up this color Sauced right here and I'm gonna be using it as my transition shade. Blending this into my crease, making sure it's very blended out so the darker colors I use later blend out easier. And I actually really, really like this color so far off the bat. This color blends really nice. One thing I do notice is that these shadows do have a lot of kick up, so you do have to be careful with them if you do your foundation first like I do because it will drop on your face. But now I'm picking up a different kind of blending brush. It's a little bit more flat, if you want to say. It's more flat, and I'm going to be picking up this color He Devil right here, this like reddish shade. And I'm going to be blending that a little bit lower into my crease and then slightly, lightly blending it upwards. <laughs> same first brush we used in that same first color and just kind of blend everything out. I'm now picking up a different blending brush. It's a little bit more defined and I'm going to be picking up this color in Fuego. Don't really know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm going to say it. And we're going to be picking up that color and I'm going to be defining my crease a little bit. Now I'm just really packing that same color on my outer corner of my eye just to kind of deepen it all up. Now with that brush we used earlier with that red color, I'm just going to blend everything out. Now with a flat brush, I'm going to be picking up this color Scorched and I'm going to be putting that on the middle part of my eyes and let me just swatch this color for you because this color swatches so beautifully this is two swipes look how beautiful ignore my nails but look at that wow holy moly that is that is beautiful I don't know how well it picks up on camera but this color is beautiful. I'm picking up that color and I'm gonna be spraying my brush just to like make it a little bit more metallic and so that we don't have any fallout. So I'm spraying my brush and I'm gonna be placing that on the middle part of my eye. We did still have some fallout even though we sprayed our brush, but that's okay because I'm going to try to wipe it off my face. Now with a flat brush again, I'm going to be picking up this color, I think it's pronounced Lumbre? I don't know, but it's the light color in the palette. I'm going to be doing the same thing, but I'm going to be putting that on the inner corner of my eyes and I'm going to spray my brush as well. <laughs> This 
eyeshadow palette has a ton of fallout so there's a bunch of eyeshadow on my face that I'll fix later so I'm now gonna be taking a like pointed uh, pencil brush and I'm gonna be picking up that red color we used earlier and I'm just gonna be smudging that under my eyes <laughs> Now I'm going to be taking that darker red color we used earlier and I'm just going to be smudging that under my eyes as well. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to be taking that first color we used earlier and just blending that under my eyes as well. So doing false lashes didn't go really well because I suck at it. But anyways, I did my eyeliner and mascara off camera. I'm going to be picking up this Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick part of the Chloe collection called Chloe Money, putting it on my lips. frame doing that my bad sorry but you know how to put lipstick on anyway so now I'm gonna be picking up my makeup revolution setting spray and I'm gonna be spraying my entire face while that's drying on my face I'm gonna be picking up this makeup revolution vivid bakes highlighter in the color golden lights and guys this is my favorite highlighter this highlighter was like I don't know like five dollars and it's the fucking best so anyways I'm gonna be putting this on my inner corner and on my brow bone. Now with a highlighting brush, I'm going to be using that same highlighter and putting that on my cheeks and pretty much all over my face. And that is the completed look using this Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. My overall opinion on this palette is that this palette is really good. It's uh, definitely worth your money, especially if you're a beginner and you want to get into some little bit more fun colors. This has some of my favorite colors in it. The formula is really great. The colors blend out amazing. The only thing I do not like about it is that it does have some fallout and kick up, but you can work around that. So yeah.